Now show GNU Radio implementing TSC modulation using B210. Due to the path problem, I will copy this file to the full English path first. Then open 8K in GNU Radio. Run directly. The following flow diagram shows a waveform modulated by Apes K. The current B210 is performing a single transmit single receive loop. This is the file received by our receiver. This is the file sent by the transmitter. And here we have 16 QM modulation. The device used is B210. Now we send this file from the transmitter. The received file is E3. So here we go. End of run. Let's check the file. The transmitter is 1 to 3 SD. The receiver is duplicate. We are now testing with LabVIEW using B210. Now we are connected to the B210 on a host with LabVIEW installed. First open the software to find the device under the NI folder. As you can see, our device has now been recognized. The ID of the device is my B210, remember this ID. Then we open the example file under the NI installation directory. There are some routines that come with NI. Then open a routine on one of the receivers. This is as shown in the picture. The driver name description here says my B210. Then we run now.
you can see that the device receiver is now running. Stop. Then open a transmitter. Also change the driver name to my B210. Click to run. You can see that the transmitter is now running. Next, we will demonstrate the use of B210 in a MATLAB environment. We can see that B210 is now connected to the computer. The first step is to open the facility management. And you can see here that one device is the B210. We can open MATLAB. It's open now. First, run a command under its command line to find the device. Then load the file. Now you see that the print message is some information about the device. We turn on its additional function management. You can see that the next interface has some routines. First, pick any one. We now open a CPSC routine. Run it. You can see that the device is already running. Let's change the routine now. After opening, you can see that it looks like this. Okay, let's run it. You can see that the device is now running.